So what we have here, and I, I can hardly even fit both these things in my small filming space, but two massive boxes. The two boxes here have a combined weight of 54 pounds. And inside of these boxes here is nothing but graded video games that I've purchased over the past year. The oldest invoices on this unboxing today are going all the way back to July of 2023. These won't be in any particular order and with everything we unboxed today, I'm gonna be able to show you exactly what I paid. And yeah, a full year's worth. There was holding in there, middleman, basically making it as cheap as I could to uh, get this stuff to Canada. Other Canadian international collectors, you know how expensive it is with taxes, shipping, customs, duties. So yeah, I don't recommend waiting a year year but it, it's what i did it's what we got here but let's get into this thing because genuinely um i like it's been so long that even i don't remember every game that's going to be here i don't remember everything that's going to be unboxed and i absolutely don't remember prices but i did see this other video by get the greg here that says people might actually be buying graded games again so like surely some of these purchases aren't awful right like surely some of these have even maybe gone up in value since I purchased it maybe fingers crossed so starting off here I assume there's gonna be multiple graded games in every single one of these boxes we have the heck is this we actually start off with two two nintendo power magazines these are really cool for the longest time these nintendo power magazines were selling for way too much money there was basically a like a mini bull cycle hit these a mini little speculative wave and nintendo power was going to the moon so but then prices kept falling as more and more of them kept coming to auction so i finally bought a couple and this looks so good this is my first time holding like a graded nintendo power check that out like that looks so good man this this is Nintendo Power Issue 31 advertising for Metroid 2 on Game Boy. Now, I'm not the biggest Metroid 2 fan in the world, but this cover, this art right here is everything Metroid. Like, th this is so quintessentially Metroid. I needed it for my collection. I think this was like $140. Let me just look it up here. Yes, $148 before taxes, shipping, all that stuff. So like I said, probably just add another $30 to it, 180 ish And I picked this up August 8th, right? 2023. July 25th, 2023. Like what? Two weeks prior? The same grade, same copy sold for 264 So that's why I picked this one up. It was almost half price uh, just from one two weeks ago and we'll just go with the next nintendo power magazine here because why not this one's pokemon which like i am a big pokemon fan so i did want this uh this is stadium Two cover which on n64 pokemon stadium 2 is genuinely one of my favorite video games like that on the system i played it so much growing up but this one here i think was right around the same price if i'm not mistaken yeah only one that sold on heritage this was october 2023 for 114 so yeah 100 bucks you know it's <laughs> like it's not cheap even that metroid one right like 150 on it there before all the fees and stuff these aren't super cheap but to do it yourself well to, to, you have to find a mint copy on ebay raw or whatever so if you can actually find a mint one raw you can probably pick it up for like 20 30 bucks then pay an additional i don't know 50 bucks to get it graded so even if you try to do it yourself you're looking at a minimum of like 70 80 dollars after grading fees and shipping and all that stuff so to already get it done for you 9.2 grade i mean it's not bad. It's not bad for like 120 bucks. But both of these are just going in the personal collection. I, it doesn't really matter what they're worth. I'm not selling them, pff, I, I don't know, ever. Like, it just, it doesn't matter. I tell you guys prices and stuff to give you some relative analysis, but like, I, I'm not selling these. And that's actually it for the first box here. It was just the two Nintendo Powers. So I'll scoop these away and we'll bring up another box. So now we have three of these things right here, which I, I'm guessing they're holding. Uh, maybe it's ver sideways, horizontally. I don't know. Let's open it up and we'll take a peek. I'm just going to go ahead and take take this off of the uh take this off the the shelf it, it's it's too big so the first two video games here actually look like they're gonna be from the june 2024 uh japanese showcase auction so starting off here with a beautiful copy this is so cool man super mario all-stars japanese release has this all gold box i'm sure most of you played all-stars growing up if you're in the proper age bracket like i feel like everyone owned this on super nintendo so this actually wasn't very cheap at all this was 575 before any shipping tax any of that not cheap 
at all. Like I said, bought earlier this year. What I did like about it though, this is a CGC 9.4. Uh, back in October 2023 at the other Japanese showcase auction, there was a VGA 80 plus that sold for 900. So that first Japanese auction did have some pretty crazy prices like 900. Obviously I didn't want to pay either. I didn't even bid on that copy. But when the 9.4 came up and I was able to win it for, you know, quite a bit less than the 80 plus went for, I took a shot on it. I took a shot. Pretty speculative. I don't really know. I don't see it up for sale all that often in brand new condition. I love it. I'm going to keep it in my collection. I don't really know if 575 is crazy or not. It, it, it doesn't feel cheap. I'll put it that way. I, I, I had to pay a real price to get it, but like sometimes good games actually do cost money. You know, it, it's this next one here is more of a value play. This was just cheap. If I remember correctly, I mean, I hope it was, I thought that was kind of cheap too, but ended up being more expensive. VGA graded GameCube. Like look how cute that is. A little Japanese GameCube Mario Kart Double Dash here. For the people who grew up on GameCube, you know how good Double Dash is. One of the best entries in the Mario Kart series. It is criminal that this game is still locked. It's still stuck on GameCube. Double Dash is still only on GameCube. I don't think we ever are. I don't think we're ever going to get any kind of Double Dash HD or Double Dash re-release. It just, I don't see it happening. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm crazy. I'd love to be wrong. I'd love to see Double Dash brought forward, but I'm just not thinking it's ever gonna happen. But the Mario Kart Double Dash, like I said, this was just cheap. Um, It's a VGA 85, not the greatest grade in the world or anything, but if you wanna buy any factory sealed copy of this game off Yahoo Japan auctions, off eBay, wherever you can find a factory sealed Japanese copy, it's gonna cost you like 150 bucks anyway. So for this, I paid $225. So maybe, you know, 250 after fees. I'm gonna stop mentioning that, but I want you guys to know that like add an additional 30 to every single game price I say. Double Dash, absolute must have for a GameCube collection. I have a North American copy. I have a Japanese copy. Fantastic game. Slip these back into a little baggie here. I have so much organizing to do after this and like I might even crack some games out and try to regrade is that what we need to do we need to start the regrade meta just like every good card channel you know you crack your cards you send them back in do we need to start cracking more games here next up here is going to be <laughs> all these all have nice invoices in them telling me exactly where I bought them uh, this is super recent this is June 2024 I, I like just won this a couple months ago I love GameCube I love collecting for GameCube this is a game that like I don't know why I didn't own this I don't know why I didn't own a sealed copy of this sooner but super Super Smash Brothers Melee. And yes, that's how you pronounce it. It's called Melee. Super Smash Bros. Melee USA 9.4A has a sticker on it. And like when I was talking about cracking games out, like I'm going to crack this out here. We're going to get this sticker removed. We're going to regrade it. This was first graded by Wada Games. This thing's like an antique, man. This was first graded April 2019. Most people didn't even know Wada Games existed in 2019. And I don't want to say I FOMO'd into this purchase, but as far as like the big GameCube Mario games go. Melee was one of the only ones I was missing and I kind of felt stupid for not owning it in my collection. I paid $475 at auction. So it's not cheap. It's not anything. It's just, it, it, I think this is just what it sells for. I wanted it for under 500, got it for under 500. I'll break it out of here. We'll remove the sticker. We'll clean it. We'll see what's up with it and uh, we'll send it back to Wada Games. Maybe we can get a higher grade on it too. If this can upgrade to like a 9.6 A plus by removing the sticker, whoo! We'll be cooking. We'll be cooking, boys. And I just want to take a second to say thank you to every single patron who helps support the channel as well as the YouTube members. I can't do this without you guys. Hit the like button and let's keep going. We barely even scratched the surface here. This is nuts. Next up, we have... This is kind of new too, I believe. Yeah, this is coming from April 2024. A Game Gear game. And this is much more of a speculative purchase. This is much more of a... Like, I'm probably just going to resell this. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to resell this, honestly. It wasn't cheap, but we have Captain America and the Avengers on the Game Gear. Extremely extremely rare game on the Game Gear. A uh, super hard to find CIB, uh, dang near impossible to find factory sealed. And it's only a 6.5 A. Like this isn't even that nice of a copy. It's just when they don't exist, you just kind of get whatever you can. And yeah, I paid 500 US for this. Like I said, not cheap, 6.5A. You're just paying for that rarity. And for anyone who collects Game Gear, I know there aren't many Game Gear collectors out there. No, no one really cares about this game. But if you are one of the few people who does collect for Game Gear, like this game's super expensive. I actually, just from my own collection, sold off an extremely rare CIB Game Gear game, a Sports Illustrated Championship Football and Baseball, complete in box. 
I sold it for like a thousand US. Game Gear is super niche. The rare stuff, like people don't even really know what's super rare on Game Gear. But for those few diehard collectors who like the Game Gear, there are extremely rare games on the console too. And uh, Captain America just happens to be one of them. So next up is going to be from December 2023. A game here that um, I'm probably going to resell this too, honestly. But these were, this is interesting. Ultimate Marvel versus Capcom 3, PS4. Actually, super expensive as far as PS4 games go. Like even CIB copies of this, I think are like 80 bucks, maybe even more now. But Heritage Auctions was selling a copy of this game every single week for like 12 weeks straight, maybe. It was crazy. Some weeks they would even have two copies up. So the price of this game, I mean, the first couple of times it sold, right? It sold really strong. But then basically everyone who pays attention to the auctions uh, bought a copy. So after that happened, the prices on them kept getting lower and lower so this is a 9.6 a plus right here pretty solid grade on it yeah this is this is nuts you guys aren't even gonna believe this i paid 47 dollars for this 47 dollars that's the joy of showing up and paying attention every single week it's a huge pain it takes a lot of effort to go to these auctions to browse auctions all the time but if you're gonna resell or be successful in like the graded games area the more auctions you can follow the better you're gonna do and every now and then man 9.6 a plus ultimate marvel versus capcom 3 ends for 47 dollars uh this one might be a little bit of regret i just don't think the price i paid for it is uh cheap and frankly i would rather have the gamecube version as well this is still cool but i, I grew up playing the gamecube version soul caliber 2 playstation 2 with the uh bonus character being hayashi from the tekken series on gamecube it was link much cooler like i said i played the gamecube one growing up but soul caliber 2 is still a huge part of my childhood great fighting game too soul caliber 2 and soul caliber 3 i played them a ton if my memory serves me correctly i feel like i paid 200 $252 for this. $264, November 2023, Soul Calibur 2, 264 bucks. I, like, I'm not, I'm not upset about it. I don't know if right now someone would pay me like 300 US or more for this. I don't know. I don't know if that buyer exists right now. I always like to consider that. I do consider the financial implications of my decisions. I try to optimize this. I want my dollars to buy as many games as possible. And if I'm overpaying for stuff like Soul Calibur 2, well, every thing that I overpay on this, I can no longer buy another game. That's why it's just always on my mind and why I'm mentioning it, the relative analysis. That, that's why I tell you guys this. And this is from the exact same auction, I believe. November 2023 again, if I'm not mistaken anyway. And this is incredible. Like I said, I like buying Xbox games. Um, Man, I probably paid a little bit too much for this as well, if I'm being completely honest. But Star Wars Battlefront for original Xbox. Now, a lot of people are going to chase this on PS2. I played it on Xbox. That was the console I grew up playing Battlefront on, Battlefront 1 and 2. We had an original Xbox, we had a PS2, we had a GameCube. Our family was bussing, man. We had everything out there. So the issue with this Battlefront, some astute collectors might have noticed already. It doesn't have the Xbox Live trial sticker on the front. It's less desirable at bare minimum, but I think it even means it's a later production copy. So 9.8 A plus, yeah, November 2023. Oh my God, man. Yeah, uh, <laughs> this might be the worst yet. Like <laughs> out of everything I've unboxed, this might be the worst yet. 408 dollars before shipping before taxes uh wow i'm probably into this for like 430 440 talking about not being able to get the money back for it like i just oh man i don't think there's any way someone's paying me that for this right now that's crazy again it is just going into the personal collection so it doesn't really matter but like to have paid 400 and some dollars and to not even have a first print i'm someone who paid the most money for this game ever and i don't even have a good copy of it next up is a uh, double pack here. Two games in here. Starting off with one of my much more speculative purchases. I'll be full on with you guys. I'll be straight up. This is bought purely for speculation and future resell, but like, I think it's really cool too. FIFA International Soccer on the Sega Genesis. This is the first ever FIFA game. This is it. This is the start of the FIFA franchise. Obviously still going. I think FC25 is about to release right away. This, this is it. This is the start of the series, which a lot of 
games like that, I think, do have, like, historical significance or um, should be collectible, should be valuable. The start of iconic franchises, the start of the Madden franchise, the NHL franchise. I know most people are going to look at this like, oh, worthless, worthless sports game. Who wants FIFA International Soccer? Most sports games are even seen as worthless by most video game collectors, but I'm thinking that eventually, and especially if this hobby grows, if it expands to other, if other collectibles get into it, like if sports people decide they want to come in and get into the uh, graded game space, sports people should care about stuff that is the first in the franchises. So 9.4A, back in November 2023, $134. I'm going to sit on this. I'm going to sit on this like a fine wine. This is my 2040 retirement plan right here. Am I crazy? Yeah, I might be a little bit crazy, but aren't we all a little bit crazy for lining our homes and our shelves with video games that we don't even play? The next one coming up is a lot more cool for like the gamers, right? This is a real gamers game here coming up, not that stupid sports crap. Half-Life 2 on original Xbox, 9.6A+. One of few Xbox games that actually gets some attention, gets some purchasing, like man, collecting original Xbox is like, it's, there's not a lot of people who do it. There's not a lot of people who do it. I talked about Game Gear earlier being super niche. Obviously Xbox isn't that niche, but like finding original Xbox collectors, man, especially in the sealed and graded world, there just aren't many of them. Now, it does worry me a bit because July 9th, 2024, a 9.8 A plus only sold for 240 bucks. So like almost undoubtedly this copy I have right here is not going to be that good of value. Um, $144 I paid for this. That's not bad. It didn't age that well. Interest in this game has not gone up based on that 9.8 sale, but I, I'm not like choked about 150 bucks for the 9.6A+. Which brings us to November 21st, 2023. I think that, um, yeah, that was November 12th, same auction, November 21st, 2023. I did a lot of buying in that auction, apparently. And this is freaking amazing. I still love this. This is, wow. Fable 2, limited collector's edition, 9.8A++ with a 9.4 slipcover. So if you guys don't know, the slipcovers here are graded separately from the numerical grade. Uh, the slip cover grade goes on the back there so 9.8 a plus plus is the game underneath the slip cover and then like what you can see is a 9.4 it's a weird system i don't really like it that's how it works but yeah this fable 2 like the fable franchise in general i'm a big fan played fable 1 2 3 growing up loved the games played them to death honestly fable 2 i wanted a nice beautiful copy for the personal collection i didn't intend to purchase a 9.8 a plus plus like I, I didn't think that was i figured it would be too expensive you know what i mean so the 9.8 a a++ uh, back in January 2023 had sold for $1,560. Then the next one came up in July 2023 and it only sold for $336. And I was choked that I missed out on that one. It came up again November 14, 2023. And for this 9.8 A++, one of the nicest copies in the world, $252. In the span of like 10 months, it went from 1500 bucks down to 252 So yeah, I am, I, I could not be happier with this. This is so freaking good, man. And the last one in this box is September 2023 is what the invoice says anyway. Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3 on original Xbox. And this copy is an early print. There are actually variants on this. The back of the game here is all black. The updated version cuts it in half on the back and you have all the, uh, copyright information is on like a white background the earlier prints this one right here has it all in black and this one thankfully i was i was worried i paid more for this actually i thought this was a bad purchase but i'm only into this for 89 bucks that's what the auction ended at so i was worried i was about to tell you guys like 139 dollars but no it's not that bad 89 dollars near mint condition already graded early production like that that's completely fine completely fine and as we're going through here if you see a price or something you want me to leave a comment like let me know what you think is really good or really bad as well. Maybe you think Fable 2 for 250 bucks is awful because who the heck cares about Fable 2? Let me know down in the comments what you guys are thinking. But we keep going! And next up, what we have is one I'm absolutely thrilled with for... Uh, what is, I think probably, I think most people would think the greatest Dragon Ball Z game that has ever been released. Dragon Ball Z Tenkaichi 
9.6 A plus brand new factory sealed copy of the game. So what I was able to get at auction and why I'm so stoked about this, 9.6 A plus sold for $468. That's November, 2023, 468 bucks. Is it cheap? No, it's not cheap, right? Like that's still, there's still like, that's still expensive. There's still a price attached to it, but I genuinely think I could just take it right now, post it on eBay and get more than that. So for that, I'm absolutely ecstatic. But the bigger thing is in my personal collection right now, because I, I collect Dragon Ball Z games, I have what I'm going to say is the world's greatest sealed Dragon Ball Z collection. I'm going to go ahead and take that claim. I'll show you eventually, I swear to God. But in my own collection right now, I have an 85 plus copy UPC promo punch. So this 9.6 A plus, no promo punch, this is going to become my collection copy now. And depending on how it looks, just because this was graded all the way back in 2020, I might even try to uh, send it back and get a 9.8. Depends how cheeky I'm feeling, you know what I mean? This might be a breakout candidate. Or I need to get it recased at bare minimum because there's like scuffing, chafing, there's... there's Oh, the, the old water cases, man, they're bad. Oh, here we go. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. I'm so happy with this right here. There's a couple of these in here as well. I don't know if it's going to be the next game up, but there's, I think there's like three copies of this game in here. We got NBA Action 98, Kobe Bryant on the cover. First time Kobe was ever on the cover of a video game. Like I said, with that FIFA International Soccer, sports speculation, man. I'm a fan of it. And here we have Kobe Bryant, first time gracing a video game cover. I'm pretty sure it's the first time he ever appeared in a video game. This would be 1997. Now, it being on Sega Saturn, yeah, that kind of hurts, but I, I don't know if it actually matters. Let me just go ahead and see what I paid for this first copy here. This is a 9.6A, and this is July 2023 on this one. July 20, over a year ago, man. 169 bucks. Call it an even 200, all said and done. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm still, I still love this purchase. A year later, I still think that's way too cheap for what this is. Call me a genius or call me an idiot down in the comments, but like, I'm I'm all in, baby. <laughs> you know, we uh, we just got that Mamba mentality. There's, there's no other way around it, right? 9.8 A plus on this copy. One of the nicest copies of Kobe Bryant that exists. This is also July 2023, $396. There's the second copy. The third one will be showing up at some point, I'm sure. And that actually does bring us to the last box here. So if you've lasted this long, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe if you like what you see. This whole channel is video game collecting, sealed, graded, finance. Uh, it's everything we cover here, so. Subscribe if you want to see more of this. Hit the like button and let's dig in here to the final box of the day. There's still one more purchase that I'm waiting for that I know is like I paid way too much for it. It's another GameCube game. It, I, <laughs> I know I paid way too much. This box actually starts up with a uh, another duplicate here. Again, with the speculation, the sports speculation, you can't buy just one, right? You got to buy multiple. So here's another copy of FIFA International Soccer. And this copy is a 9.4 A+. A little bit nicer than the last copy I unboxed, but this one costs... 288 bucks. So this one was a lot more expensive, uh, relatively speaking. I, I only have two copies of this. Like I said, I just think it's something that will become something in the future. Speaking of the other bad purchase in here, and <laughs> whew, just looking at the invoice right now, man, um, $588 after the uh, tax and shipping stuff. Almost 600 US for this. Oh my gosh. Kirby Air Ride on Nintendo GameCube. 9.6 A plus back when i bought this this would have been mm, maybe early 2023 what's what's the invoice say here july 2023 the middle of 2023 yeah back when i purchased this 9.6 a plus was the highest grade for kirby air ride on the pop report so that's why it came with such a premium and i love kirby air ride i like i watch speed runs of kirby air ride to this day the kirby air ride community man is like still going they do pvp online they're doing speed running they have tournaments like kirby air ride is alive and and well, which is just crazy to even think. But 9.6 A plus copy. Um, I'm certainly happy with it. Like, don't get me wrong, right? This is this is awesome. Just man, oh man, oh man, oh man. <laughs> I, I just don't even know what to say, right? This Kirby Air Ride 9.6 A plus plus that Battlefronts game um on Xbox, that's like a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars between Star Wars Battlefront and Kirby Air Ride. Sometimes, man, sometimes you just gotta sit back and reflect on the decisions you make in life. This next one is amazing, and it's huge. This is huge and amazing. One of my favorite, more modern game series that ever came out, um, and this is the Big Heart's Desire 
Premium Edition VGA 95, man. Catherine Full Body PS4. That is, man, this is so cool. So cool. Like back when the original Catherine came out, I made sure to buy the uh, Love is Over Deluxe Edition. It came in like the pizza box. You got the boxers. I think it came with the shirt. Was there like a, a, a pillowcase? And that was a cool collector's edition. A lot of neat stuff in there. So I have that in my collection already, right? The original Xbox 360 one. And um, of course, I had to also get the Catherine Catherine full body here uh, on PS4. This Catherine here, VGA 95, I paid 337.50. You know, not terrible, not terrible. If you've never played Catherine, if you've been curious about it, maybe you've never even heard of the series as I sit here talking about it, like look up review, look up a gameplay thing, like play Catherine, truly great experience. Even better if you can play with a friend or something, watch a playthrough of it, like just experience Catherine, it is great. And this next one is also, one of my absolute favorite items from the entire, like, this entire unboxing here. This is something I never even knew if I was going to be able to purchase, let alone just have it come up for auction, right? And I, oh man, Dragon Ball Z 2 V. This is the V-Jump version of Budokai 2 Japanese. They released this only in Japan through a promotion with V-Jump magazine. Uh, you had to buy two games, I think, send in the receipts. It was something like that, but they gave them out randomly. Only 2,000 ever produced of it, and um, I won it at open auction for 460 bucks or something. Like, I was ready to push this one over $1,000. Like, I had been looking for a copy of this game, factory sealed, uh, for two years now. This copy sold for $475 June 2024. I am thrilled with this, man. Thrilled with this. Like I said, putting together the world's best sealed Dragon Ball Z collection, like limited to 2000. One of the rarest Dragon Ball Z games that exists, period. <laughs> Kobe Bryant, 9.8 A plus again on this. Bought two of the nicest copies of this game that exists. This copy would have been 360 or maybe the other copy was 360, but for the two copies, one of them was 396. The other one was 360. Again, no complaints, throwing it back in a box for a year. Absolutely locked in on Kobe Bryant. And the very last game of the day. I forgot I even purchased this. No regrets though, when did I grab this? Uh, this is from June, 2024. Paid $187 for it. Oh, over two, oh, paid like 213 is what it says on the invoice. So Mario Party 10 for Wii U. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you Mario Party 10 is a good game. It's not. As far as Mario Party games go, it might be one of the worst Mario Party games that exists. This game still has that shared board movement where you're all inside of a car. Uh, I have played Mario Party 10. I did play Mario Party 9. Like the mini games are still fun, right? The game is still fun. You can still have fun with it. It's just not something I was ever going to return to. I was never going to play this game. I was never going to grind out Mario Party 10, right? There's far better entries in the Mario Party series, but I do want to get every Mario Party game for my collection. And if I'm going to buy a Mario Party 10, not that rare of a game, right? I wanted to get one that was mint, 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 mint. But holy crap, you guys, what an unboxing. This was, this was crazy. This was great. I'm, I'm never going to wait a year again before doing something like this. Never, never again am I going to do that. That is just, it's too long. Now that I have all this stuff, I need to go through inventory, add to my collection. I need to see what am I going to break out? Because I think I am going to crack some of these and just try regrading them, try cleaning them. Like that Smash Melee has a sticker rate right on it. That has to be removed no matter what. So more videos will come with these games. I assure you there, this is, oh man, there's, there's a lot of work to do still. There's a lot of work to do. Let me know what your favorite thing was from this unboxing. Like I said, this video is probably going to be 45 minutes. So for all 10 of you that make it to the end of the video, I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.